Now we travel to some fantastic places in Western Australia during this series, but we also love to show you things that you can do right near your home. And there's plenty of great fishing here in Perth, right along the coast. Now, a very simple beach like this is going to have fish at all times. And a simple rig's the way to go. I've just got a little bean sinker, and that runs up and down my main line, and I stop it with a swivel. The hook is very easy too. I've got a long shanked hook, because I think there's some whiting here, and whiting love to eat worms. It's a bit icky, I know, but here's a worm. We're going to thread it on the hook, just like this, push it all the way up the hook. Worms are great bait because they're durable, very hard for the fish to pick them off quickly. And there you go, a gross worm, but the fish love it. There's no use hanging around, let's go have a cast. You can see in front of me that there's a nice weed bank which I always look for when targeting whiting and herring. These fish like a bit of structure and cover to feed around and I cast as close to the weed as I can. Now you want to make sure that the line's nice and tight so you can feel all the bites and this is where the braided line comes in very handy because you'll be able to feel every little touch. Oh yes, here we go. Woo, he's going hard. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You're fishing for whiting, and you end up catching a herring. He's a massive herring too. But it just goes to show you've got to be prepared for anything, don't you? A lovely herring. They've come into the burly trail which we've set out there and hopefully the whiting will turn up soon. If not, hey, herring's just as good. What we call herring in Western Australia are known as Tommy Ruff in most other parts of the country. They're not really a true herring and are closely related to the Australian salmon, which aren't really a true salmon. They were named by the early settlers after the English fish they most closely resembled. Now we've sent a little burly container just out halfway between the beach and the weed out there. And that's going to attract all sorts of fish. Maybe some herring, possibly some whiting, that's what we're hoping for, but when you're fishing off a beach like this, it doesn't matter what you catch. It's a beautiful morning, and catching any fish, it's a bonus. Look at this, that burley's really starting to work. Some big herring have come in, and that's the value of burley, really. Well, that trail that we've set up has really started to work because the whiting haven't turned up, but these wonderful herring have. So you have to be prepared for anything. And uh, I'll take a herring like that, he's a wonderful size. I'm starting to get happy. Oh, hello. I bet that's a herring, he hit that pretty hard. We'll have a look, can't tell yet. He's fighting up pretty high, so I think it's probably a herring. Here we go. Boy, they're big herring here. Aren't they a wonderful fish? Does not look too badly, so I might let him go. Yeah. Yeah. There we go, fella. You swim off and join the others. On our next show, we're going to fish one of my favourite places in the whole world, Kalbarri. It's wall-to-wall -wall action with great fishing, great advice, and we're even going to show you how to catch the West Australian Jewfish on lures. Well, that's it for this week of Fishing Western Australia. We hope you enjoyed the show. We've had a great time making it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Fishing Western Australia.